Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of GeoGuessr. So today we are actually doing a challenge, and this was sent to me by OnlyBro555. And he actually sent it a while ago, but YouTube messages are really weird. Like, YouTube doesn't notify me when I get a message. My phone, I swear, I'm gonna... <laughs> Every time I record, it's just a flood of notifications. Anyways, so... For some reason, YouTube doesn't notify me when I get a message. So if you do send me a message and, like, I don't reply or anything for a while, then, like, tweet me or post a comment on a video or something saying, hey, can you please check your messages? Because, yeah, I... Unless I check my YouTube inbox, which isn't often, then I probably won't find your message because YouTube doesn't tell me when I get one. So, yeah, so... Only bro 555 sorry for taking a really long time to make this video. But yeah, I just noticed the message a few days ago, so sorry about that. Anyways, uh, since this is a challenge, I'm not going to be like looking up anything or using my phone. I'm just going to have to guess. So, yeah, I really don't know. I mean, this is probably in the US cuz like I mean the roads and everything Yeah, I'd say this is definitely in the US. I don't know like where like where the challenge is. Maybe it's the whole world, I don't know. Does it block license plates? I think it does. Yeah, cuz I was thinking maybe we could see like what state from the license plate Alright, so let's keep going down here. I I feel like this is in the northeast. I don't know why. Alright, here's a phone number. I don't really know the phone number, like, area codes. I don't really know a lot of them, so I don't really think I could get anything out of that. Uh, wait, but hold up, let me go back. Where was that phone number? I'm gonna go back here. I'm pretty sure, because obviously, if it's, uh, seven or ten digits. Okay, so yeah, it's either, we're either in the U.S. or Canada from that, because the U.S. and Canada, I think Canada has the same type of phone numbers as the U.S., but, uh, yeah, so the U.S., you have your area code, three digits, then your three, then the first three numbers, then the last four, so there's ten digits in total. Sometimes there will only be seven. Um, so, yeah, we're definitely in the U.S., potentially Canada, but probably the U.S. All right, so that's a realty company. Alright, so we're into our neighborhood now. I don't think I'm going to be able to get a precise location, so I'm just going to make a guess. I, I just have a random thought that we're in Massachusetts. I have absolutely no idea why, but I'm just going to say we're like here. I honestly have no clue. But yeah, we're going to make make a guess. No. <laughs> okay, well, we're in the Northeast. And, okay, well, in this challenge, it said that, like, it, it's like a challenge, so, like, the other person already did it, so it's supposed to show where they guessed, and then where I guessed, but I guess for some reason it's not showing it or something. So, anyways, I was pretty close. It's decent. I mean, we got it. It wasn't the right state or anything, but we got in the northeast, so I was right about that. Anyways, let's go on to the next round. Here we are. Uh, this has a kind of a Midwestern vibe. I don't know. Like, that first one, just every everything about it was just like, okay, this has got to be the northeast. Um, Alright, this is a political sign. This might, this might help us. Maybe it'll say, like whatever that dude's name is for governor of whatever or whatever he's running for. I don't know. 
I don't even know if this is a political sign, but it looks like one. I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know what that says. It might not even be a political sign. It just looked like it from there. Yeah, this just has a kind of a Midwestern vibe to it. Oh, it's not Midwestern. AAA Northern New England. So maybe this is like a Northeastern United States. Like maybe that's the area that we are going to be put in. Because like they, some, like you obviously can play in the whole world, but then some of the maps are like just Russia, just Brazil, just New York City. So I think this one, the air, the general area is probably like New England or in the Northeast or whatever. So, because uh, if we're in there twice in a row, the chances are that's probably the case. So Portland, Portland, Maine, because the only other Portland I know of, I, I'm sure, I think there's like five or something in the U.S., but the only other Portland that I know of is in Oregon, and uh, which that's obviously not in New England. So there is a Portland, Maine. So probably right here. Wasn't the last one Portland, Maine as well? Maybe this is like a Portland, Maine map. I don't know. So we gotta somehow find this AAA or this hospital. What was this hospital called? Um, does it say? Come on. Drummond Wood something? That looks about right. Okay, I guess it's probably near this area. Yeah, I don't know. It might be part of this university or something. I have no clue. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say there. All right, that was okay, and I got six thousand points. What? <laughs> I thought you, the maximum was 5,000. I, I think this is a retro version, so maybe they it goes up to like 10,000 or something. I don't know. So this was this was the correct location. And then this is where I guessed. That's pretty decent, to be honest. So I didn't know we were right by the water. Oh, yeah, I guess I did see water right at the start. Oh, <laughs> okay. Let's go to the next round. Now, hold on a second. This is not Portland, Maine. I can tell you that. Because, <laughs> like, this, there's different... Like, this is all different languages. It looks completely different. We're in the middle of mountains and everything. Oh my gosh, is this... Is this... It's a gigantic city. I don't know. Here's a stadium. That's pretty cool. Now... I don't know. This city looks like absolutely gigantic. Oh, there's a dog right there. Did you just see that? There's a dog right back here. It was somewhere. Somewhere along this path. Alright, anyways. I have a feeling that we could be in Mexico City. Because Mexico City is like absolutely enormous. So, and it's like... I'm seeing a lot of things in Spanish, so yeah. I mean, we could be in like Spain or something, obviously, or in, not Mexico. I mean, there's plenty of Spanish-speaking countries, but not all of them have an absolutely enormous city like Mexico City, because I think there's like 20 million people or something in Mexico City. Why am I, am I like, what is going on? Why am I not moving forward? Okay, I'm moving forward really slowly. Can I like go over here? Here we go. There's a ton of people hiking up this thing. Alright, well this says La Paz. Isn't La Paz a city in like... Colombia or Venezuela or something? I guess not. I thought it was. Oh no, it's Bolivia. I mean, we could be in Bolivia. That's definitely possible. I mean, I think there's probably, like, a lot of cities. I think there are a lot of cities called La Paz, but most of them aren't huge cities like this. So I guess this could be La Paz, because I, I, 
do remember Bolivia like being really like mountainy because that's definitely a word. Okay, so I guess I'm wrong. We are not doing a Portland, Maine thing. We're in La Paz, I guess. All right. Maybe this is like a mountain or something up here. I'm going to say here. Let's make a guess. Yep. Wow, that was so close. That was so close. And then was this... Because I saw this stadium and I was thinking maybe this is the stadium that we saw right at the start, but it says it's an Olympic stadium, so I figured it would probably be bigger than that because the one we saw looked like a pretty small-sized stadium. But yeah, I guess this was the stadium that we saw right at the start. Okay, so we're in La Paz, Bolivia. So that is definitely not Portland, Maine. <laughs> Where is this? We're on a boat. How do we get out of here? Oh, are you serious? We're literally just... How in the name of Jesus Almighty am I supposed to... <laughs> How am I going to guess this? I'm literally just standing on the deck of a boat and I can't even go anywhere. How am I supposed to get this? Someone help me. How? How? <laughs> How am I supposed to get this? Gosh dang. I have no clue. I have absolutely no clue. Are we back in Portland, Maine? I'm just gonna say that. Maybe we're back in Portland, Maine. Let's just go with that. So is there like a harbor or something like that? What is this? This is an island. No. Is there some kind of harbor? This looks like a harbor. Let's say here. Make a guess. I have a feeling we're going to be way off. Oh! We're in Tunisia. <laughs> what? Alright. I mean, how was I supposed to get that? Come on. There was absolutely no possible way for me to get... <laughs> like, there was absolutely like no hint of anything anywhere. Wow. I'm surprised we even got a thousand points from that. We were six almost 7,000 kilometers away from the correct location. Oh my gosh. So the first two were like Portland, Maine, but all now these last three are far away places. This is actually pretty interesting though. Alright, so I think while I'm doing this last round, because I have a feeling it'll take a while, um, I'm going to talk about a few things. One, I am getting a new like office set up again. I know I just got a new desk and office and stuff like in November or whatever, but I'm getting a new one again soon. We have uh, upstairs in my house, we have an office that we used to use. But now it's like there's just clutter everywhere and it's like a storage area where we just throw stuff. <laughs> or not just throw stuff, but like there's just a there's just a ton of things in there. So we're starting to take all of that out and giving it away and storing it somewhere else and stuff. And uh, I'm actually going to move into there because that's like a really quiet room because like the vents aren't loud and it's just pretty quiet. So uh, yeah, we're going to take all the things out of there, all the clutter and I'm going to get a new desk and I'm going to do my videos there from now on so I don't know when that will be it might be a while because there is an absolutely ridiculous amount of stuff in there that we have to get out but yeah I will be making a new setup soon and once everything is completed I will have a video coming out and it's gonna kind of be like a before or after or before and after thing because I have some clips from like before we started decluttering and then obviously I'll do this the I'll show my setup and everything else after after we set it up. So I'm going to buy a new desk and we're actually it's actually carpet, but we're going to take that out and get wood flooring because in the future my next computer is going to be a desktop. Uh I'm not planning on getting it soon. It's just that like if like my next computer I'm going to be getting like a gaming desktop of some sort. 
So, because right now I have a laptop, it's a Lenovo Y50 gaming laptop, and it's really good, but just obviously computers don't last forever, so at some point I will need a new one, probably not for a couple years though. So I'd rather have like a wooden floor or like some kind of hard surface in case the computer gets really hot or it's just, you know, it's just, uh, I think it's also better for acoustics and everything to have hard flooring as opposed to carpet when you're recording. So anyways, I see some signs. I saw one back here, but I was too busy talking that I skipped past it. Now... Okay, so this is not Latin writing, so like it's Cyrillic or something. Maybe it's Russian or Ukrainian or some kind of language like that. Yeah, I don't know where we are. This looks like Greek almost. Well, not really. I don't know. Hold on, I need to see more signs, because some of these are looking like Greek, and others are looking like some sort of Cyrillic language. Here's a bus. Oh, I thought that was like a flag or something. Okay. <clears throat> Here's another sign, and I just skipped past it. Looks like there's a beach right here. Okay, so this is definitely not Greek. So that's confirmed. Wow, they got a beach. It's pretty cool. I'm thinking it's Russia because this does look like a colder climate, just the way everything looks. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm gonna try to go further. We're really far away from where we started now. Is this the last one? Yeah, it is. It's around 5 out of 5. Does this road ever end? <laughs> oh my gosh, it's endless. Alright, let's try to just... Keep going and keep going down this road until we find like a city or something like that. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Please, is there something? What is this? Ugh. You know what? Screw it. Although, if it's a beach, isn't it like frozen a lot of the time up here? I thought I read that somewhere. I'm not sure, though. I can't confirm that, but... I mean, we could be here. I'm just gonna say here. I have no clue. Uh, we are on... We were in Russia. Oh! Okay, this kind of makes sense. All right, well, we were in, we got the right country, but it was on opposite sides of it. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna be it for this challenge. And I got seventeen thousand points in total, so that was all right. And thank you, only bro five 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 for suggesting this. This was pretty fun. Uh, the first two. We're in Portland, Maine, so I was expecting it to, like, be, a uh, Portland, Maine, or just, like, a, uh, northeast United States type of map. But it all changed, <laughs> well, uh, once we hit the third round. Anyways, that's gonna be all for, that's gonna be it for today's episode of GeoGuessr. If you want me to play, if you've made a challenge or some kind of map, and you want me to play it, uh, let me know in the comments, or, again, if you send something in a YouTube message, and then I don't respond after a few days, then uh, post a comment letting me know that you sent me a message so then I know to go and check. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next episode of GeoGuessr. So thank you for sending me this map. This is pretty fun, and 
yeah, again, I'll see you in the next episode of GeoGuessr.